it's just been a busy week because I've had a couple of exams going on and um, I've been in the production which has already posted of The Crowbar Murders, my first slash film. And I'm also in the production of our second slash film which yet does not have a title but for now the title is supposedly Total Silence. But, sorry, and I knew that my last review was going to be on the Friday the 13th series, which I promise I will get to next after this review. But I'm a huge zombie fan. I love zombie movies. Um, and I was searching through DVDs on my TV. It has this kind of we can watch movies on demand type thing. And I saw a movie called Down to the Dead, and it had a tr uh, trailer for it. So I watched it. And it looked like a kick-ass horror film. So I watched it. It was a brilliant film. I loved every second of this film. This is definitely the most entertaining film I've ever seen in my life. You might think that's a big, that's not a big of a stretch. Probably because many of you might not have ever heard this, heard of this film. Well, not till now, but because this is an independent film. But just the ind independent feeling, this, this film has an independent feeling throughout the whole film, which you might think is a bad thing, but it just adds to the quality of it, to the strange kind of eerie quality to it. It's very bloody, it's, and the deaths sometimes can be just very disgusting and very nasty. And at some times when the deaths, when there's sad scenes, you can actually feel the sadness that the characters are feeling, which is a sign of a great director. I don't know who directed this film. Probably should have done a little research before this review, but I wanted to get this done straight through. I actually finished watching this film just a couple of minutes ago, because I just wanted to do it now. This film is just awesome, I swear. It's a brilliant film, I mean. It's just awesome. This is definitely in my top 10 best films ever made. Now, like a lot of zombie films, they have comedy, preferably to Dawn of the Dead with the pie-throwing scene. Yeah, it, Dance of the Dead is like that, but it has straight comedy throughout. It's gore, very good gore. Uh, it's not very scary, but at times it can be very gripping and thrilling. But not really uh, that scary of a film. The zombies are okay. Sometimes they can be kind of crappy looking and sometimes they can be very good looking and gruesome and nasty and sometimes they can be very bad looking. And But you know, it's an average um, zombie film. It's a great zombie film. So basically what it's about is um, a town next to the nuclear power plant um, has made the dead rise on the night of a prom at the local high school and only the losers who couldn't get dates to the prom are the only ones who can stop them. At parts it was, it could be pretty creepy and very suspenseful and at parts, you know, and there was one scene that was pretty nasty when it actually showed them dissecting a frog which was pretty nasty if you ask me. It was very bloody, it had some great decapitations. Great character develop, especially with the main character. The main character. He was a decent actor, very great. I don't know if this was his first film or what, but he was a great actor. And his personality can re relate to all of us. His personality, the way we act. There was a bit of the way he acts, a bit of his personality inside every one of us. So there's, in whatever way, we can all basically kind of relate to the main character, which really was one of the main reasons that really grabbed me into this film, that really made me love this film. It's entertaining throughout. It's just an awesome film. It's very entertaining, sheer watchability, definitely. This is a film that you could watch 50 times in a row, and it would not get any, any tedious at all. This film is not tedious on any parts entertaining straight through. It's just a film you could you just watch it 50 times in a row. It would not get any less boring. It would not, it would just not.
It's one of those films. It was one of those films I didn't want to end. Just didn't want to end because it was that great of a film. It was just an, it was just an awesome film, and I loved it. I loved every second of it. I would give this film five out of five stars. It was an absolutely brilliant film, and it is an independent film. I don't have it, but I am going to buy it. This is just an awesome film. This is very great. It could be very creepy. It's very funny. Definitely very funny. All zombie films have their share of good comedy. This is a great film. I highly recommend it, especially to zombie fans. Now, to zombie fans, they might not think this is that great of a film because it was made this year, and it might not be like the classic Dead, Day of the Dead and Night of the Living Dead. Those were all great films, but this... But for New Age, New Century 2008, or in the New Millennium zombie films, this is a good way to go. And hopefully the rest of the zombie films of the New Year's turn out to be like this film. This is a great film. It's very bloody. Like, Man, I, was, I just loved every second of this film. It's just so entertaining, and I just loved it. I just really loved it. One of the top ten best films I've ever seen in my life. This film is just so entertaining. It had some ch cheesy acting on some parts, but mainly through the main characters, they were pretty good. It was just a great film. It doesn't really have much of a... It doesn't have a cliffhanger ending at all, but it sort of leaves the ending up to your imagination, which is a kind of a... Which I like that, because they don't just give you the straight answer right away. Boom, they hit you with a happy ending. Boom, they hit you with a bad, sad ending. No, it's up to your imagination. Whatever you like or want to happen at the end, it's your choice. It's not the director's choice. He leaves it up to you. This is a great film. I enjoyed this. I can't wait to buy it. And if there's a sequel, I have to see it. This is a great film. Five out of five stars. You have to see it. <laughs>